All right, everybody. Uh, this is Scorpion here. Uh, I was going to do a uh, DD D drive scrap, take it apart, let y'all see what's in it. So y'all stick around and uh, we'll tear something up. scrapping shop where I do most of my e-waste at <clears throat> the first thing we have to do is get this cover off and y'all tell most of the time I do everything by hand I don't use a drill just a little bit of a preference uh, it is definitely faster with the drill but uh, I'm not really going for the speed at this point. <clears throat> I'm still kind of learning stuff and what goes where and all that wonderful stuff. So here's the top. Goes over and scrap. videos to get better as time goes on I'm still learning where to set stuff and all of that <clears throat> so normally I just bend the side over there out and grab this and pull it out the other side and get this nice ribbon wire it's in the bottom it's glued to everything you can pull out Of course this one didn't want to be nice, so <clears throat> part of it ripped off. <coughs> so I have a bucket down here I drop my, my ribbon wire in. This right here is the plug, it sends all the information out, gets the power in, all that wonderful stuff it's in the back of the case. <clears throat> so it would appear that that is a gold. Oh, I dropped it. Some of these parts are tiny. So it would appear that's a little gold piece. I'm not sure if y'all can see it in my hand. So I have a little bucket under here for gold pins and stuff like that I do know this is gold you can see the, the plugs in it I'm not sure if the whole thing has got a coating on it or not but <clears throat> the cable that I ripped off goes in underneath here and you can uh, normally pull that out pretty easy and that's going to have gold pins on it too so you got two sets of gold pins on this little connector here. I normally set those separate, something that small. They're not going to pay me nothing for. Um, but I can take it and recover the gold out of it. <clears throat> and my ribbon cables, I do the same with those. Um, there's gold on here. It's gold plated. So it goes in my little gold bucket down here. This piece goes in with scrap. <coughs> Y'all excuse my cough, it's uh, can't seem to get rid of it, it's been around forever. You 
got to take some more screws out here. And these take a few minutes. <clears throat> there is some pretty good stuff in here. I have seen a video or two that shows you what to do with the, uh, the eyes out of these. Right now I'm just saving the eyes. I drop them in a bucket. Um, I'll eventually get, in, get around to doing something with those when I have enough to, to really worry about. But I don't have enough to worry about it right now. <clears throat> So, all right, sorry about that. Had somebody walking around on speakerphone saying things they probably shouldn't have been saying. And we know YouTube doesn't like that, so <clears throat> had to cut that little piece out. I'm going to say a lot of my videos, I'm going to give you like full length, just so you know how long it takes. Um, after I've done some full length ones, I will shorten it up some, I'm sure, so y'all don't have to continue to watch me unscrew this, unscrew that, and um, but yeah, you spend a lot of time just taking screws out, just screwing around, you know. <coughs> All right. So, and if you miss one and you find that something doesn't want to come out like you think it should, just keep pulling. It's just a screw. It's no big deal. So I keep my scrap pile sitting kind of close. I try to keep everything close that I'm going to be using or doing something with. <clears throat> it just makes everything easier that way. So all these little plugs, well not all, but most, some of your wires will just pull out. Some of them you got a little black thing to flip up and the wire will pull out. Again, a little black thing. So this is your DVD drive board. It's not very big, doesn't weigh a lot. Um, <coughs> but place will pay you for them by weight so you want to set that separate here's the rest of the uh, ribbon so and I don't always do stuff in this process but I'm doing it that way just so y'all can see a lot of times I'll set a few ribbons to the side Later, I'll cut the gold finger connectors off. If there's gold in the middle of the wire, I cut that off. We already got the other end. So, ribbon paper. Gold connectors. And it really takes a while for that stuff to add up. <clears throat> you know, a lot of my gold connectors, like the plug itself, I throw that into a separate box. I'm not going to really mess with them so much as uh, the stuff that is... Um, <coughs> Come on now. It's just plated and easy to get to. Alright, so your motor in it. So, I mean, this is ribbon paper. There's no gold connections on that. I tried to tear a little bit of trash off. There is a board on here. It's got a screw in it holding it down. But this is a motor. And normally I just take those and drop them in my little motor bucket. Because a lot of those I'm not going to tear apart if they're too awful small. Trash. 
Alright, so at this point, here's your guide rods for your eye. They go on a scrap with the screws. <clears throat> I've pretty much torn this down about as far as I normally tear them down. Um, I will pull this ribbon paper out. Sometimes it tears, most of the time it tears. Um, but the gold connector ends on this side again. So, again, ribbon paper, gold connectors. <clears throat> so, right here's your little motor that runs. It's got a little thing here, and it runs your, your eye back and forth to read the disc. <coughs> this ribbon wire connects to the side of it. It comes from the circuit board to that. There's all little metal pieces everywhere. So, I just popped the whole piece out. This up here has only got a little piece over it take that off and then this ribbon wire runs up here to another little motor I just pull the wire off of that and then I pull this piece out this piece has got gold on it <coughs> the end right here has gold on it and sometimes you can find a little bit of gold in between so I normally just use scissors Cut off what I want or need. Now, normally the older something is, the more gold plating it has on it over the years. Ribbon cable. Over the years, it's uh, technology's gotten better, and. Uh, They don't have as much plating on them as they used to. And I mean your scrap metal, it doesn't matter. They'll take it bent upside down, backwards, whatever. <clears throat> so I mean I'm here, it's not much, but it adds up after a while, so I'll just take it and pull it off, stop it over here. And that's the good thing about scrapping. You get paint to tear stuff up. It doesn't get much better than that. Drop those down with the screws and that with the screws. This little motor normally has a screw in it. right out. <coughs> Again, it's a little motor. It's not much to it. But it can go with motors. There's a spring or two. I'm not going to work hard to get them out, but if they pop out easy. Too much work. And that's the biggest thing with scrapping is where are you starting to lose, you know, your time and that kind of thing. I mean, you can get a lot more, but are you going to sit around for an hour to get one little piece? Or are you going to go and move on and keep the money flow going? Because at a certain point, if you figure it's getting paid by the hour well you know so the rest of this carrier I normally try to make stuff as clean as I can make your scrap yard happy again tread trash now this little motor here I don't normally pull that bracket off I just leave it there But, 
these. And the shaft that spins and moves the carrier up and down. They're normally brass. So that goes with brass. And a little motor goes in the motor bucket. So that is pretty much it for a tear down on those. <clears throat> it's not hard. I enjoy taking stuff apart. So this board, you stack these up in one box. Whenever you get enough weight you want to get paid, you mail them out. These I stack in another box. <clears throat> one day I'll bust into those, break into them. I know there's some gold and stuff in there and uh, I'll get to that at some point. But uh, basically that's it. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, put it in the comments for now because I don't think I put my email on there. But if you go to my Silver Scorpion channel, my email is in the uh, information tab. So, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed and uh, we'll see y'all next time.